Welcome all you fellow beer drinkers of the world who like to taste beer of rock, metal and all that. Today's review, as you can pretty much guess by now, is not an album review, but a beer review. May I present to you, uh, this one is called Niska Ale, which literally translates to Neck Ale. Um, this is a little bit of hard to explain this to non-Finnish people, but Trion Hiskalaukaus, or actually Timur Rautiainen and Trion Hiskalaukaus, is actually a, a very big name uh, in Finnish hard rock scene, not so much hard rock, but kind of like heavy rock music combination, a lot of name, lots of gigs and um, good reputation and all that stuff. Not everybody likes the band, of course, but well, which but doesn't which band doesn't do that? Anyway, uh, the band was on a hiatus for quite a few years. Now they are back uh, doing a new album and uh, gigs and all that stuff. And to celebrate all this, they actually um, made this Timo Rautinen ja Trio Niska Laukaus beard called call Niska Ale. And the name, which I must actually uh, tell you, because it kind of uh, is related to the band's name. Uh, Niska Laukaus means neck shot, you know, or more like, you know, when somebody's getting executed. So, shot in the neck. Neck ale. Clever, right? Anyway, uh, this is Niska Ale Olutta Suomesta, which means uh, beer from Finland. And as you can see, there's this uh, person and there's this kind of a Finnish landscape, very typical, beautiful landscape with a lake and uh, all that, and a guy on a rock or cliff, I guess. This is a 4.6 person strong, which means that average lager beer uh, when it comes to the strength, so not that bad. This one is actually not too chilled, as you can see, it's not sweating here. The, because I'm doing this in my home gym, aka uh, garage. Uh, this is pretty okay temperature for beer. And uh, yes, the ingredients are pretty average stuff. You know, water, mar malted barley, yeast. There are a few different malts and, you know, other stuff which create the very flavor. And um, this is made by uh, a quite small brewery in Finland. I think it's actually called Bath Brewery, which kind of translates like, yeah, what does it mean? Let's get back into that later on. Now, let's take a sip and get a feeling what this beer is all about. Very nice, actually, considering it's very light. It is not very thick in any way. You cannot see the color, but it's pretty much like, you know, typical lager, maybe a little bit darker. But the thing I like this, and like this is one compared to your average lager is that this one is definitely more kind of personality with the taste. It's a little bit stronger. I mean, the kind of hop the hoppiness is uh, way stronger here than your typical lager. But then again, it's also quite crispy and kind of lightweight. So it's not like one of those strong APAs or IPAs or any other pale ales. It's actually somewhere in the middle in a way. There's a certain type of sharpness in the taste, which actually appeals to me. I'm usually the type who goes very hoppy beers. Not always, of course, but many times when I just want to enjoy the taste, I let the beer get a little bit warmer. Not maybe, you know, the room temperature, but a little bit warmer than, you know, your fridge temperature. And I think this one is doing pretty okay in that that area sorry and um, 
the thing is now that this is somewhat chilled, but not, you know, like I said, not refrigerator chilled, nor not in room temperature. This is pretty goddamn good. Now that this has this kind of a taste, it's it's not very steep, but it definitely has some character in it. What I really like in this kind of ale is that this really goes well with, uh, you know, spicy food as well. Because this is uh, not too strong in taste, not too hoppy. It is easily paired, let's say, with steak or, you know, some uh, Asian cuisine. Or, you know, kind of a food that has this character or personality on its own, you know. Uh, so, for example, if you like... Uh, you know, really spicy food, lots of um, strong tastes, and you just want to have something else than just water, you go with it. I think this is pretty damn good. And why I can tell you this is because this is not my first beer, actually. Um, a couple of weeks ago, when I got the box, there was four bottles. I tasted it in different temperatures, uh, and, and uh, one, we're having, you know, my dinner and two others you know just in different phases basically in evening time but that's not the point here but you know there are different temperature and different vibes so to speak this one it's now you know it's 11 in the evening i don't know why i mentioned that but it doesn't matter the thing is that in my opinion this beats easily your average lager and this is not so strong as if you couldn't like recommend this to a fellow beer friend who is you know maybe a little bit afraid of all of those really hoppy IPAs and whatnot so your fellow lager drinker could be easily enjoying this one because the taste is very well balanced so in my opinion this is totally okay for your beer drinking sessions when you just want to get wasted but then again, if you just want to have a beer or two with or without food, this is also a great choice. Now the downside is, since it's a small brewery in Finland, I have no idea how uh, well this can be actually picked on uh, in a, outside Finland. Then again, if you're a, a Finnish person or you're traveling in Finland and you just like to taste different kinds of beers like I do, I totally recommend uh, giving this one a go. It's maybe not the most uh, inviting when it comes to the label, but at least it has a really nice personality. I mean, kind of like a nice feeling to it. It really much, uh, really well uh, kind of reflects the band and the music. So like, Finnish beer for Finnish men, and you know, when we're alone, uh, just enjoying the nature, we can, you know, grab a beer and have a go. So, would I taste it afterward? Sure, why not? This one is a nice beer, was a positively surprised by the taste and the kind of a mouth feeling, so to speak. So, Niskael! And uh, Wafter Brewery, good job delivering a nice Finnish beer. This is all from me, from Rauta. I'm Jerry. Nice to have you looking at these reviews. Please come back again and, as always, stay metal and enjoy your music. That's all.